Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Well, hi there, Kevin. And hi there, food friends. I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And today, Ralph, Mexican skillet corn. How's that? That sounds fantastic. <laughs> well, you know, we are in like the best time of year right now because it's August and the farms are just exploding, at least here in Michigan, with crops, including we've got a farm all within maybe a mile or so of where I'm standing that grows the most delicious sweet corn in the world. Am I right, Ralph? Yes, I can eat it right off the... You eat it raw, just <laughs> eat it, right? I mean... It's like sugar corn. Yeah, it is like sugar corn. Well, what we're going to do today, Ralph, is we're going to make this Mexican skillet corn, but I'm in the process of taking the corn off the cob. Now, I did we did we did a skillet corn recipe many years ago. Matter of fact, it's one of our more popular ones where I used a bunt pan. I couldn't find a bunt pan, but here's an Angel Food pan that does the same thing. And it kind of holds the corn. This is a trick a friend showed me many years ago. Holds the corn in place, and you just take your knife, and you just run it right down. What's nice is that not only does it hold it in place, but then it collects and gathers all the yes. corn that, you, that you're scraping off. So, it, yeah, everything just kind of falls right to the, the end of the pan here. And so I've got, this is, this is uh, ear number five. And then I'll do one more. So this is six ears of corn. You could make less, I guess, if you wanted to. It depends how many people you're feeding or how much you like sweet corn. But, you know, around here when you buy corn, you buy it either a half a dozen or a dozen ears. So I had six ears of corn. So do you know what that would approximate in cups? Gosh. Four or five. I don't know. It's it's um, whoop. Uh, I want to say, Ralph, that this is probably um, six cups okay. of corn. So All almost right. a corn or a cup. A corn equals one cup. And so you also see on the knife, there's some milky substance. That is good stuff. That's corn milk, and that is the where the sweetness comes in, Ralph, on the corn. Yes. So you want to make sure you you. Um, collect that. Here in this big cast iron skillet I've got about two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. Okay? Okay. So to that I'm going to put in our corn. So we're going to put that in there. Wow. Bring the heat up. Now I see how much it is. See? And I'm getting, there's a little bit of that corn milk that collected at the bottom. It's actually kind of sticky almost, but we're going to put that in there. Okay, so there's our corn. To that, we're, Ralph, I've got one, since this is Mexican skillet corn, I've got one jalapeno pepper, which I've seeded. Uh, this is optional. If you don't like that spicy, you can you cannot put it in. Okay, but this is fresh out your garden, and it is it's from the garden. And then I've got one su uh, sweet uh, orange bell pepper here. We're gonna put that in. There. How's that for color? And then we're gonna put in some seasoning. So I'm gonna start with a little salt. Okay, let's put in a, a good teaspoon of salt here. And a, just a little black pepper. You hear that sizzling? I do. And um, maybe a teaspoon of cumin. Mmm, fresh cumin. So this will give um, sort of that, that Mexican smoky, really deep warm flavor yeah warm flavor then Ralph what I like to do is I like to put in about a tablespoon or so 
of flour. And we're going to stir this, and this will help to make a um, almost like a glaze. With it'll mix with that butter and oil. We're going to coat the corn. I've got a few pieces of husk, husk in there, and so silk. you see it. Yeah, I tried to get all the silks off. If anybody has a secret to getting off all the corn silks, share it with me, because that's always my big frustration uh, when I shuck corn is to get all those silks off. Share it with us and put the toothpick manufacturers out of business. <laughs> well, you know, the other thing too is some people have a hard time eating corn on the cob. Uh, and or yeah, they have, the, you know, the corn gets stuck in their teeth or whatever and uh, they don't like it. So here's they another like it, way. They just don't like the hassle They don't of like it. the hassle of it. So here's another way to enjoy the seasonal sweet corn um, and not have it get oh, stuck. Or, or also, you know, this is a takeoff uh, variation on Mexican street corn where it's slathered in mayo yes. and different flavors and it gets kind of messy so you can eat it and enjoy it like this without getting it all over your face. Yeah, so traditionally, Ralph, is it the case that it's it's, it's on the Mexican street corn is like a grilled corn uh, on the cob, right? And then they put... Even in the husk, I think. And then okay. they, they peel it and it's got, you know, it's kind of like grilled and charred. Yes. And then they slather the seasoned mayo on it and it's so good. So what we want to do is we want this corn to get a little bit of a char on it. So I'm going to, it's going to need to cook for 10 or 15 minutes in the in the pan. We're going to let it do that and then when it comes, we come back, we'll kind of put it, transfer it to a bowl and add some other ingredients and we'll be ready to enjoy our Mexican skillet, skillet corn. corn. It has been oh, a little more than 10 minutes and you can see there's you know, on the bottom is that what that really is is that's the corn milk. Yes. Um, that has kind of crisped up. Crisped up. Um, so just make sure to break it up and yeah, you know, mix it. Yeah, you want those bits. They're right. Delicious. So get a have it, make sure you have a good spatula to get all that up from the bottom. And um, we we did a little taste test uh, before we re re returned to filming and um, added a touch more cumin. Yeah, another quarter teaspoon. But boy, is it flavorful. It's yeah, got, it is. You can really taste the. The, the corn, the sweet pepper, the sweet, yeah. All the flavors are really quite delicious. And I think it's beautiful looking. Now what I'm gonna do, oh, this is a heavy skillet. Um, we're going to get this out of here, transfer to a large bowl. There's still some flavors to get mixed in. Yep. Yeah. And it's pretty. I love the, oh, you yeah. know, you could use any bell pepper you had. I just happened to have an orange one, which I think is beautiful. Yeah, so let's put that colors. there. And now we are going to add to it, Ralph. Oh, he wants those bits, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. Um, it's not coming up as good with this batch, so that's okay. But okay. I trust you. Um, so, like you were saying, Ralph, in a Mexican street corn, they'd slather it with uh, mayonnaise. Yeah, or right? sour cream, but but seasoned. Or, uh, and that was seasoned, and then roll it in a Parmesan cheese, right, or some or some kind of cheese. Yeah, a, a special cheese. ranchero cheese or so what a I'm harder, gonna, yeah, a crumbly I'm, cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna put in about a, maybe a couple tablespoons here. Look at that. of Parmesan. Okay, I like and, it so far. I've got some nice, I didn't, uh, diced up some uh, fresh parsley from Ooh, the yeah, herb garden. I bet you could use cilantro too. And then I'm not going to use mayonnaise, but instead I'm going to use three tablespoons here of sour cream. Because you know what? Sour cream is just my default. And plus it's, it's also good for, you know, how much, I mean, how often do we eat Mexican food and put sour cream on it? Right. And it's just... You know, it's not that much. It's going to melt, of course, and it's going to apply a nice coating. Um, 
creaminess to go yeah. with all those flavors. Now, look at that. Also, it would cool it down if it was a little hot from the pepper, the, the jalapeno, which we did not think it was. Yeah, although, no. I, you know, jalapenos, when you cook them, they tend to uh, kind of mild out a little bit. Right. Um, but I'm going to, oh, does that look beautiful. So now, let me get a bowl. And I'll show you, this is, so this would be a, a great side dish. With a nice ice cold cerveza. Uh, that means beer. So here. We will. Is that take, fiesta? That would be appropriate. If uh, it's fiesta. not, but um, <laughs> you it's get kind it? of fiesta-ish. Yeah, it would be. So we're going to put some in a bowl. I'm going to take a little of this cheese. Like a little sprinkle on and top. And sprinkle on top. Even a little more parsley. A little parsley. Or cilantro, like I said, you could also. Yeah, cilantro. How beautiful is that? Look at that. And then, again, this is celebrating the sweet corn of the season. Michigan sweet corn. Wow. Wow. This is so... Good. I mean, you have you have everything here. It's not. It could even be a little spicier for my my taste because I like things on the hot side. So maybe yeah, maybe a little more jalapeno. Jalapeno or use a um, a serrano or a hotter pepper. But mmm, that sour cream just makes a beautiful glaze to the corn. And then the freshness of the parsley, the sweet little bell pepper. But of course, the star of the show is this incredible um, bicolor Michigan sweet corn. I could just, what so, a treat. So it's almost like you're eating it like it's um, a main. <laughs> you could put maybe uh, chop up or, you know, cook up some pieces of pork and put it in there or just have it with a pork you know side as a mm -hmm. side dish with some pork chops or some uh, steak milanesa or chicken milanesa or other things to garnish it with would be some sliced um, green onion you know the green part of the onion I'm trying to think of things you could eat it with as a side though like uh, enchiladas and any pork chops and hamburgers and hot dogs yeah basic uh, I mean it's a summer you know corn summertime it really thing. is as a as a replacement for corn on the cob Anyways, so flavorful that yeah, you take wow. that to a party and it's another showstopper. This is out of sight. Um, another great way to enjoy summer corn, and it, wherever you live, um, especially if you are in the Midwest or the Plain State, where the, it's everybody's corn crazy right now with the harvest. Celebrate the bounty of the corn. Absolutely, and and. This corn every year that we have it is a total gift. It is so delicious. We look um, forward to it every year. We really do. Just like the tomatoes now. Again, that's a, well. That's a whole other show. Um, we'll have to do something because yes. we can't eat enough of yeah, these we, garden fresh tomatoes. Right. We did it earlier with zucchinis. We're doing it yep. with corn. We'll do something with tomatoes. But it's all about enjoying the the harvest. You know what comes through the earth and comes back to us to yep. enjoy. And so we hope you're celebrating uh, the bounty of summer wherever you are. We sure are here in Croswell, Michigan. Thank you for joining us and spending some time as we made this wonderful Mexican skillet corn. If you like what we do here, please share, like, subscribe. And we want to say we'll see you again real soon here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Adios.